Good morning. My name is Cesar Crespo. I'm a photographer collaborating with Kasi uh, Photostock and Nadami. And today i like to share with you my experience with Leica M8. I had two Leicas M8. This is one of This is one of them. I had this Leica. I bought it uh, 10 years ago. Uh, my experience with this camera is so good. I don't have any complaint about this camera. I have mounted with the Summicron 28 and the results that I obtained uh, has been very, very, very good. Uh, for me, uh, shoot with Leica is different like the other cameras. Uh, I have a Nikon D300S. I like it, uh, that camera that now I'm filming with them. I'm shooting with Nikon D300. Uh, what is that I like me more in a camera? For me, the best of all is the simplicity uh, of the quantity of the buttons that you can have in your camera that allow to you to change immediately. For example, the, the ISO, the, the white balance, um, the speed, the aperture that I have here in, in the ring of the optics. For me, this is the most important to have the control in the ring in the optic because today, it is it is has has been losing. Uh, all the cameras normally have the control of the aperture with the rings that have the, in front of the camera or back the camera. But now it's in this case. In this case you have here the ring of the optics like the ancient times. I have a Leica Digilux 3. Uh, the control in the of the aperture is in the ring too. I like it that camera too. I have a review made it with this uh, Digilux 3, but it's in Spanish. I'm sorry about my English because I'm not uh, an English speaker like you can uh, observe. Well, uh, what what is the most that I like of this camera? For example, if I mount this optic that is uh, 28, this is for me the perfect optic that you can have mount in this camera because the, it's the it's, it's the equal as if you have a 35 in in format copy. This is crop sensor, not its full sensor, and. Um, with this optic, you have a result of a 35. And when you see uh, through the visual, through the viewfinder, you can see exactly the square of the frame that allows to you that all that is inside, you can get the photography. With the 50 Sumilux, for example, you have this frame, but it's more small and it's more for me it's more difficult for me to focus but with training you can do too with the 3 mark example you can see through this viewfinder you can you can see but but not it's the final result you need to put a viewfinder here in the top of the camera now here I have I have my my year my my year here is uh, I have a Sumicron 28 I have a Trial Mark and I have a Sumilux 50 and I have another Leica in it. Uh, all these uh, optics objectives I have been getting of second hand. Today for me 
uh, get, for example, the tree of bar will be impossible because it's too much expensive. It's six thousand dollars plus money. I get it off second hand, long time ago. And for me, it was a good deal. Like the fifty sumilux, and with the Leica I made that. Now I, I explain. I explain a little more. With this other camera, this is a trail mark with Leica M8. I get this camera of second hand too. It was mounted with my 50 Sumi looks because the owner don't want to uh, sell me the optic without the camera. Uh, he wants to uh, sell in the same package the uh, Sumi looks with the camera. But I think that I made it a good deal too. I want to say with this that if you have uh, passions, if you are passionate and um, and you are uh, looking for buy something of second hand, always perhaps can uh, can can read for you the opportunity of uh, buy uh, articles of second hand, and you can get a, a good deal. Well, with this camera, with the real map, I have here a filter. Because I don't like to have exposed my optic without uh, protection. And then I put uh, a filter that is made it with a piece of lens hood that is in front of here. This is for me, it's incredible. The sharpness of this optic is incredible. I had it a uh, very nice photography. I must say that when you shoot with Leica and take and you see the results are absolutely different than my Nikon D300, for example, uh, the colors are much better with this kind of optics and the texture, the photography, it's completely different. It's, it's very, it's very like if you shoot with film. This is the sensation that you have when you when you see the results with these cameras. Are, are it's, it's like a, it's like a, if you uh, will be shot with film cameras, and this is like to me uh, of shoot with Leica M8. Uh, besides this, it's a very discreet camera. You don't, the people, when I have my Nikon G300, that it's amazing coming for me. Because you have a lot of buttons that like to me, that you, you come with the Nikon G300, press a button, and change immediately the ISO, you uh, press another button and change immediately the white buttons. Change another button and you can uh, select the row if you want to shoot in tip, if you want to shoot in, J, uh, J, P, G, uh, in fine, in, 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 in low, in, I think that is in low, fine, um, better, well, the better quality to less quality. I always put it in row. Uh, a lot of things that you can make with, uh, Nikon D300, but when you obtain the result, and you see the photographies and process with Lightroom and after this with Photoshop. Right. The photographies that you are taking with the Leica MK, you can play, you can play more than with files than with the files of the Nikon D300. It just feels, uh, I don't know how what can explain. It's like if you, uh, will be take, uh, it's like a paint. I don't know how to describe when you make a zoom and you approach to the picture, you can see that it's like a, pic a, a picture, a picture, uh, a paint. And with the Nikon, no, not this sensation, it's another sensation. You have the, 
sharp, the, the, the picture is sharp, but right? not as sharp as these kinds of topics. Uh, remember that these kinds of topic, optics are fixed optics. It is a trigger mark, not it's a zoom. When you change the when you change to 21 to 18 or 16, you are not made a zoom. You are changed different optics, but fixed optics, and the results are incredible. Uh, well, I must say that you have a more uh, opportunities to put your photos in agencies, for example. If you have been taken with an Nikon or a Canon, because perhaps you are working with a Zoom, and the possibilities are much better than with a fixed office. But for my philosophy of the photography, I don't like, for example, this kind of cameras that shoot seven uh, frames per second or 16 or I don't know how much is the range that will be uh, arranged. I think that it's 24 per second. Oh, that is like it's for me for my philosophy of the photography. When you take a shoot, I like to take my picture in one frame, two frames as much. But always I shoot one frame. When I deliver a lot of uh, photography scene, as a photo store or army, I shoot this frame and the next photo is another photo completely different. It's rare the case that I take two pictures. Perhaps I take two pictures, but sometimes is I shoot the picture, I wait uh, five seconds or six because I like uh, this, the the situation, the, my motive, my like the person that I am fixed. I want that change the position, and I take my second uh, frame, but in another position. For example, it's rare that I take uh, two shoots continuously. I must say that, for example, with this camera. It is a CCD sensor, not it's a CMOS sensor. Uh, the difference between the CCD sensor and CMOS sensor, you must be know that with the CCD sensor, you can obtain much better photographies with CMOS sensor. But a very, very good quality of photography that you can take with a CCD sensor is the start if you compare with CMOS. But what happened? CMOS, no, CCD sensor is more sensible to the changes of temperature. That's what happened with the Leica M9. That is with the same same CCD and Leica M9 suffered a lot of problems. Because when you have the difference of temperature, if you keep your camera in your bag or in everywhere, everywhere the difference of temperature affects the sensor. Uh, with this Leica I made, I don't have, with this one or the other, I never had been any problems with the sensor. I don't know if it's because it's crop sensor, I don't know. I know that with the Leica M9 there are a lot of problems, but with the Leica M M8, without all these two cameras that I have, I never uh, I delivered to Leica. I know that I needed, perhaps need a uh, clean the sensor. Yes, it's true because uh, I don't know what happened that uh, the dust, uh, it's uh, plenty of dust. But nothing that I can solve with Photoshop, with the tool of uh, the stick that you can remove the, the spots. But I know that it's plenty of, of dust, my camera. And I never uh, take off practically my optics because I don't want that the dust uh, uh, could be uh, go inside of my sensor. I'm uh, 
a tiki, tiki version, I think that is cool. Um, well, for me, I say, I never has been any problems with my Leica in the game. I tell you, if you can get one of these cameras today, the, the value of this camera, you can get for a thousand dollars perhaps. Thousand, thousand eight hundred. Uh, if you get one of these, you don't repeat. If you like the photography, if you like, uh, this is not its uh, usual camera, I must say. With this camera, I know that not it's better than a Sony or a Canon or a Nikon with this quantity of features that you can do with uh, shots or made sports, for example. This is not a camera for sport. This is social photography and document, documentary photography. But you have another uh, another pro that is, uh, for example, it's less weight than, than a Nikon or a Canon. It's more discreet for your photography as a social photography or documentary. People don't care if you take a photo with this camera, but if you take with a Canon or a Nikon, it's more impressed because it's more huge camera. And people don't feel comfortable with this camera. The people uh, feel the sensation that it's, they don't care. When I shoot with this camera, I focus on the people, it's continuously passing uh, in front of me. I don't exist, but when I have with, uh, when I made street photography with my Nikon D300 and put, uh, put my camera in, in, put my eye in the viewfinder, the people went past immediately stop. Stop because I have a 7035 as an optic uh, that mount my Nikon D300. Uh, for them, it's more impressive, and immediately it's a stop because perhaps they perceive that you are more professional, and if they pass in front of you, mm, your your photography will be ruined. But with this camera, they perceive, for example, that you are not professional, and they are continuously passing in front of you. And perhaps with this camera, with the Nikon D300. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting, for example, uh, I throw, uh, I see through my visor with the Nikon D300, for example, because I need that anybody pass in that moment in front of me, because in this is the moment I want to shoot. But people stop and don't pass, and I'm thinking inside of me, but I need that you pass, but people, it's respectful camera an icon it's more people perceive that it's more professional with this camera you are not a professional and perhaps if you go to a wedding you are a wedding photographer and they see with this camera perhaps they perceive that you are not a professional this is it is this is a, a, a piece of camera uh, like a, a toy they perceive the sensation. Perhaps for them you are not as professional like with an Nikon or a Canon or Sony. Sony is a teeny camera too. Um, but uh, perhaps people um, when see the, the, the brand of Sony perhaps perceive that it's more more professional. Only the people that know uh, too much about cameras and see the logo of Leica and then uh, understand what oh, it's a Leica. This is a very, very good camera. But the rest of the people normally think you don't have an icon or Canon or another brand. They think that you are not professional. Well, uh, before I talk about the viewfinder, with this, with this trail mark, you need a viewfinder. This is the viewfinder that have this because I, with the Leica M8, it was the first uh, Leica camera, Leica M camera, that uh, Leica invented. 
and begin with the, all the rest of the cameras, like Leica 9, Leica 240, Leica Monochrome, Leica, um, a lot of Leicas, uh, Leica, Leica N10, ETC, ETC. Uh, this is the, the visor. Before cost, uh, at the beginning cost $300. Dollars. Uh, After this, uh, up to rise to 600, and nowadays it's 900. It's incredible the quantity of amount of money that has been raised with this 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 visor. This visor, I need to put here or take my photos. Excuse me about the it's a little okay. And then you can, okay, when you want to take a picture with this trio mark, you must first of all focus, focus with the viewfinder, and after this, you look here, but before of this, you must be to select the optic that you want to shoot. For example, with, if you decide that you want to shoot with the 16, you must put here, you can see here over the camera that you have different, uh, you have a 16, 18, 21, 24, 28. Then you must put the 16, but this is in a complete format. As the 16 with this camera, it's a 21 then you need to put 21. You select 21. You need to select then if you are focused in infinity or if you are in, in, in 2 meters, 1 meter, 0 7 meters, 0 uh, 5 meters. Then you, <laughs> it's complicated because uh, it's a lot of things that you must be think. You put the aperture you put the aperture here on the top, and then you focus, focus here, and when you have focus, you throw over the camera, and then you take the picture. Uh, this other for infinity to one zero seven zero five, you never use practically when you are making social photography because you imagine that you see. Here is one meter, and then you must be put here one meter. The photo you are lost completely. And then I put in infinity, and that's all. I don't care to put here the meter. So, but if it's a, if it's a photography that people don't are working and are completely steady, then if the people is steady and you have time, you can put all the combinations and then you take the picture. Uh, this is a lot of things that you must be... Uh, and then this, this is the reason because people don't want this, because you, you imagine, you must be select the aperture. You, you see one scene, or oh, oh, this is my, my picture, I need to take this picture of this person that is passing, or it's buying some fruits in the market, or something similar. You put the aperture here, you must be choice the aperture here, and then you are focused, and then you look here, and people say, I don't like this. I prefer one camera that you put immediately. Uh, your eye, your vision in your eye, in your eye, and then you shoot immediately and focus automatically. This is this is incredible. This is this is the speed that you have with another camera. It's incredible. This is uh, not its a camera for people that want to rush too much is for white people that like to think because this camera allows to you above all to think. This is this is the, the sensation that I have. I need to think when when I take pictures with this camera. With these other cameras, Nikon, Canon and another brands, Pukitil, I can't forget Pukipi is a good camera too. All the cameras are good, but are different. With these cameras, you have 
immediately the photography. Um, perhaps this is the, the the people. What is what is uh, photography? Photography is capture the moment, the precisely moment, and uh, immediately that you capture this moment. This is important, and then then is because the people want cameras that have speed focus and ATC, ATC, because with this camera you don't have this. With this camera you have feelings, you have sensations, but this is, this is like, I like of this camera, the feelings, the sensations. I know that there are cars that are very, very fast, like a Ford, a Mercedes, or any car, Audis, uh, Mercedes. These kinds of cars have the uh, seats of leather that are very comfortable, that can make you a massage uh, uh, when you are driving. This is like a Aston Martin, for example. This is uh, like a Rolls Royce, ancient Rolls Royce, and, and an antique Rolls Royce that, but you like, you like this, this kind of cars. Why? Because you like uh, feeling again uh, the perception of the photography. Return to ancient times when the photography begins. And the sensation that you have when you put your eye uh, through the visor and you smell this case, for example, that is uh, of leather, it's another sensation completely different than when I have my Nikon. With my Nikon, I'm very, very fast. Uh, I can make social photography with a Nikon D300. Uh, the only problem that is that you must be take your camera here, your hand, in your neck, that it's a heavy camera with the time your cervical suffer, but you can have your, your camera here hanging, and when you see the photo immediately, you see and you shoot with the Nikon. Because if you see and wait and begin to make zoom, ATC, ATC, people perception that you are taking this photo because it's a huge camera, and people. Uh, immediately uh, look at you, what are you doing? With this camera is completely discreet. They don't care if you take the photos, that you are invisible with this camera. And this is like, uh, like a, I like the, this camera, that it's uh, the description. Uh, not is the same to take pictures in a wedding, but example with this camera, that with the uh, it's completely different. People don't don't pay attention to you. It's different. But I recognize that the features that have in other cameras are much better than, than a Leica. But the results that offer to you the Leica, it's among of uh, it's over. It's over than a Leica. I think with this camera, only have a little snap perhaps. It was the first camera that was. Uh, Invented Leica, and then you need uh, to shoot no more than 640 uh, ISO because if you put uh, 1250 or 25, I think that it's 2500, you have a lot of noise, but not it's a noise like uh, the ancient grain. It's uh, digital noise, not it's very, not it's very very good for the photography. You only have the possibility of to pass the photo in black and white. And besides of this, this camera, the sensor of this camera is the same. Uh, the 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 pattern uh, of the monochrome camera is the same pattern of the Leica M8, no, it's the same pattern of the Leica M9 or M240 or no, 
is the same pattern of the Leica M8. If you want to have uh, good uh, photographies in black and white, this is your camera. If you want a cheap camera today, I say you it's uh, you can find this camera for thousand thousand eight hundred. I never uh, sell this camera for for a thousand dollars. No way, no way. With that camera, with my um, camera, the first that I show you, this one. I bought, I bought this camera completely new. I, I spent uh, $5,000 oh, with this camera. Um, with the uh, Sumicron, I spent in that, that moment nearly, I think that was 2500 And today, it's rise to $4,000 this optic. I bought it uh, 10 years ago. And it's incredible how Leica is rising their prices. It's 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 astonishing. But look, look when the Leica M8 is mounted with uh, with the optic uh, like a Sumicron 28, it's it's incredible discreet. Not it's the same as if you are with this with this uh, trial bar. Not it's the same. And people sometimes, if you are mounted with this, this or and this, they they perceive that what kind of machine is this? What are this guy made in? It's it's a rare camera, but look look the description of this camera. It's not this camera. They don't perceive that you are taking photos with this camera. Um. Here I have my Sumilux that I told you before. This is the Sumilux that it's uh, keeping here. I practically I never use this optic. Perhaps the 15% 15, 15 of my photographies are made with this 50. But the most of the times Nowadays, lastly, I use too much the trial mark. The trial mark because I have three optics. It's it's equivalent of it's equal if uh, 21, 24, and 28. It's 16. The 16 it's uh, 21. The 18 it's a uh, 24. And the 21 is a uh, 28. When I use the 21, I don't need to put the the top visor. I don't need because the same the frame that made the the, the Leica is it's it's good yet. You don't need the, the visor in front over the camera. You put you put the twenty one and sometimes I'm lazy for put this really it's it's a little complicated when you need to stop. The last shoot that I take with this camera was in was in in, in London, in Borough Market. I put it uh, I think that I put uh, twenty three photographies of forty three, I don't remember now. Teenager photo stock of that work. Uh, I expanded uh, six months in LA, and in these six months, I can put in uh, 123 photographies in a photo store. With Alami, um, nowadays I'm not very happy because the rate that you earn with Adami sometimes not is as good as you think because there are a figure that tries nowadays that is the I don't know how they tell the commissioner something else. And these commissioners take of your money forty percent of your earnings and I don't like it. And then nowadays I don't deliver more photographies for Alami. 
at the moment. When they say or if you they take a uh, fifty percent, I agree with this. But nowadays there are another figure that I explained before, that is this uh, commissioner, I don't know. Um, and then the commissioner take it of your as forty percent. Uh, Nalami is the 30% person, and you take only 20%. The last person that earn is precisely the photographer that has been taken the photo. And this is, I think, that not is fair. But the photo stock take the 50%, and I am agreeing with this. The 50%, okay, it's okay. But 70% or 80%, no, nothing. I don't deliver more photos to one at the moment. Well, I think that nothing more to say. I think that it's, I explained that for me, this is feelings, this is sensations. This is not because there are people that say, why do you want this kind of cameras? Because with this, it's, it's completely different than another camera. You have uh, another another kind of satisfaction when you take and when you take a photo that you are focused, the man of focus, and that it's completely all mechanical. But for me, have more value than with a modern camera that you can shoot completely automatic. I think that it's more photographer. One person that take photos with this, that with these modern cameras that are today. Because I can shoot with another camera like Nikon or Canon, but persons that they are using Nikon or Canon, if suddenly take this camera, they don't make photos with this camera because they don't have been trained to focus. In manual, for example, you need to practice all days focus. You need to train in your <clears throat> in your time all days because if not, you lose this the 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 quick the the fast of the the focus fast. You need training all days. If not. You lose. If you are you know, without practice one week, for example, and you take the camera, it costs too much focus. Too much. With this camera, it has been arrived to focus uh, whilst I'm working in processions, for example, here in Semana Santa in Alicante. When I focus and I'm searching something, I'm following something. I can walk and I immediately I can focus the manual uh, whilst I'm working. I know that with this these another cameras it's immediately you you press the button uh, focus immediately and take the photo. But I think that it's more it's more romantic. Oh, I don't know how who can explain. When you take photos with this, and the results are incredibly are astonished. And the colors, the colors are very similar to film, to the ancient film. For me, this is the best. And nothing more. Uh, any doubt that you have, you can put below here in the comments that if I can. I could be uh, answer to you your questions. I like it to put some photos that I take it with this uh, camera, perhaps with the 28. That is the most of the cases that I use in these 10 years. But for now, my my this is this is the optic that today I'm, I'm shooting with the trigger mark the most of the time. I hope that you enjoy with this review. Perhaps I made another reviews. I don't know. It's the pen of the people. 
if they like it or not. Sorry about my English. I never talk English. I studied a lot of English, but I never practice. Sorry. Um, nothing more. Have, have a nice day. Um, bye. Bye.